Hello and welcome everybody, it's Epic Player, and today I'm going to give you a small demonstration of the new snapshot that has come out today, or was it yesterday, I don't know, just in the last couple of hours, are uh, snapshots 12W49A and we have fireworks, hell yeah. Uh, there, there's a few small changes, I'm just going to mention the most important ones, uh, the ones I know of, for example, you now can place anything on workbenches, on dispensers, on pistons, on wh whatever, well not pistons, but whatever objects are before when you just click them would interact with them. If you now hold shift down like me, you can place stuff on them, on the sides of them, just everywhere, which is awesome. And uh, it's going to be really handy, for example, for pistons or, well, workbenches if you... If you want to do that, you can now, for example, place buttons on workbenches to decorate them a little bit more and do funny stuff like that. Um, also, <laughs> there finally is goddamn Nether Hob Bricks. Look at that. Look at that. Slaps. It's Nether Slaps. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, people have requested that quite a lot in the uh, cost pop a couple of months, and it's a shame that it wasn't added so far, but now we do have um, Nether Break Slaps. Simply awesome. Um, now, um, to the most fun part. Fireworks! Da -da -da -da. Yeah, right. Uh, so we do have fireworks, and if you actually search for fireworks, you'll find a couple of things. Uh, there's also enchanted books now, which I personally find quite retarded, not really useful, but whatever. Um, fireworks, um, you can basically just see what sort of ingredients there are, what sort of end results there are. This is a firework, as you can see it doesn't do anything since as soon as it explodes it doesn't really have any attributes, it doesn't have any colors added to it. So uh, we're gonna actually craft ourselves a firework from scratch so that you know what what you have to do. So basically as ingredients what do you want uh, to take is all of these things here that it can use as collars. So it starts from here, from the ink sack, and just goes right about to bone meal, which is white. And uh, those are all the collars that it can use in fireworks, and you can combine them together. That's the most amazing part. So, for example, if I say, uh, I want a orange, yellow, and red fireworks, I can just take those three ingredients and mix them together. Now, what do you need for that? First of all, place the ingredients that you chose just in a crafting bar. And next, uh, everything works with our gunpowder. So you place the gunpowder in there, and look at that. Oh, we have a firework star. So that is basically what comes into the rocket. And you can see the effects right underneath it. So it's a small ball with red, orange, and yellow colored. Now, there is certain effects that you can add to the fireworks to make it even cooler and bigger. For example, with the diamond, if you add that, it gives it another effect, uh, and that is the trail. So it sort of has a trail when it shoots up in the sky. Or, you can add the feather, and that gives it a burst. So as soon as it explodes, it sort of gives it a burst uh, animation. It's kind of cool looking. Or, what you can do as well is put a fire charge in there and it just gives a large ball, so a large firework. And um, I have found out that there are certain combinations that it can do and certain that it can't. For example, I can add these two, so it gives us a trail and a large ball, but as soon as you add the feather, it disappears, so you can't use that. But you can use, for example, the diamond and the feather that gives us a burst in a trail. And uh, I don't know, these two just don't work with each other, I don't know why, but... Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add the diamond and the feather that gives it a burst and a trail. Oh no, wait, oh, we're not going to add the feather, we add, we, we're going to add those, a large ball and trail, that looks pretty cool. Um, and now what you have to do is basically add the fireworks starter you just crafted, as well as a bit of paper and... Uh, a bit of gunpowder that I don't have. Oh, and what it could also do is add another collar, for example, now. Just put the fireworks star in here, put the collar there, and you will see that it, as soon as it explodes, it fades to the collar that you added. It is really cool. So we're going to do that as well. Um, and now, just put the fireworks star as you want it in the crafting bench, put a bit of paper in there, as well as a bit of gunpowder, and you will get a firework rocket. And now, the next line that you see is the flight duration is on 1. So basically, if you want to increase that, you need to add more gunpowder. And you can go up to level 3, so um, you need 3 gunpowder. Just add those ingredients, and you see the flight duration... Oh, wait, you actually have to add them in a separate window, like that. 
you can't stack them. No, it doesn't recognize it for some reason. So um, that gives us flight duration three, and that gives us a nice little, a uh, nice little rocket. Now you can't just right-click the sky; it doesn't work. You have to click on an object to actually shoot him. Now let's try that. And pew! Up it goes. Wow! Look at that beautiful color. And you can just basically uh, keep it pressed and do something like this. Whoopee! Now you really have to—you you have to agree. This is probably the most awesome feature they've ever included in Minecraft since the release. I mean, come on. Well, probably redstoners will probably disagree to their piston for, yeah. But um, this is really absolutely amazing. The fireworks and uh, you can do all sorts of color combinations. There's no limitation whatsoever. I think I I, I don't think anyone is ever gonna find out how many. Well, actually, you could probably calculate it, but there's probably hundreds of thousands of combinations that you could do color combinations just by looking at all the ingredients and the possibilities that you can take and um, so uh, to actually sum this up I've made a little demonstration area I got six or uh, 16 dispensers in here and all of them are filled with different colors and it, it sort of goes in around and uh, I wanted to finish this video with a little demonstration of what you can do in sorts of fireworks techniques let it shoot firework! Enjoy, guys. Mm -hmm.